Hi guys, I'm the Illusionist, and today I'm going to show you a great self-working magic trick with only 8 cards. So I'm really sorry I didn't post any videos in I think the last month, but I just came back to school, I had lots of work, so my timetable is horrible, you can't even imagine. So, um, that, which is good, is that today I finished early so I can make a video, which is great. So yeah, let's get started. So, as you can see for this magic trick, I only have 8 cards. And I'm going to ask the spectator to just think of one card. Think, think of one. And then you name it. The, the bad thing about this is that I don't have a spectator and it would be really useful in this thing. So let's say, for example, he chooses the um, Jack of Hearts. That's just my example, okay? And look, the funny thing is, in my, in my eight cards, they were all blue. Look, one, two, three, four. Whoopsies, that goes there, that's back. Five, six, and seven. Seven blue cards and one red, which is the one you chose. Isn't it great? I'll be right back for the explanation. So, for this amazing trick, which is self working, no technique required, it's just great. You need four random red cards, like this, and four random blue cards, normal cards, so you basically need two decks of cards. And so what you do is you take one red core, right, uh, card, sorry, you put um, you put the blue one there, and you alternate basically, one blue, one red, one blue, one red, one blue, one red, and one blue. So now, they all look random, they all look the same, be careful not to show the backs, because they are Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Well, you got that, I guess. And then the the spectators, sorry, can take really any card they want. It doesn't matter. It's more impressive if you have a spectator, but you don't have one, so it looks crap. Let's say they take the Queen of Hearts. So what you're gonna do? The only move you're gonna do. It's very simple. You simply take all the cards underneath the chosen card, put them on the top. So which makes it so now we have still alternated cards, minus one, which is, let's say blue, it could be blue or red, doesn't matter. And what you do is look, you turn, you take it, you push with your, I hold my deck in my left hand, so you push with your left thumb, you grab the card in your right hand, and what you do is you turn over the both hands at the same time to show, to clearly show that they are two red cards. Then you push this card and they think you're pushing this one. I don't I don't know why, you don't know why, nobody knows why. People just think this is the one. When I watched it the first time I didn't get it. I thought this was the one. It's really weird. It's um, an optical illusion I think it's cool. But the card you've taken is blue so we've we've made one blue card disappear. We put it there. Then as it's alternating you know, remember through bled um, red, blue, red, look, I take it, same thing, I push, I grab it in my right hand, red, and red again, and so I push the blue card and the red card, and now I've got one red card, and another red card, I push, until I have w one card left, which is really red, and show this, you say, and look, the card you've chosen is the only blue, so, isn't it amazing, I love these tricks that are just mathematical, and they're self-working, because they're just so cool and don't need to do anything. If you really like them, please slap that like button if you want more self-working tricks. Or just leave a comment saying you want more <laughs> self-working tricks, that's it. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, it would be great. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!